Imagine a place where scientific boundaries are shattered and where the laws of physics are pushed to their limits. That place is CERN, and today something unimaginable has occurred. It's a phenomenon that challenges everything we thought we knew. What does this phenomenon mean for the future of our universe? Universe is everything from the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies, and are we prepared as a human race to witness this rather unexplainable event? Join us as we embark on a mind-bending journey like no other and uncover this strange event that happened at CERN that no one can explain. Foreign inside a hidden tunnel lies a technological marvel that's so advanced and extraordinary that it far surpasses any other modern-day technology. Housing this intricate machinery, the tunnel at CERN makes buzzing and humming sounds, almost like a big scientific playground. This is where beams of energy are sent in a big circle. Welcome to the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN, a place where amazing scientific discoveries happen. The LHC is not an ordinary machine. It's a huge ring that stretches for 17 miles underground, crossing the borders of France and Switzerland. It's designed to make tiny particles go really fast almost as fast as light. Scientists use the LHC to recreate the conditions that existed right after the Big Bang, a massive explosion that created our universe. When the LHC started working, scientists noticed some strange things happening. The detectors in the collider recorded more particle collisions than expected at certain energy levels. These unexpected events didn't match what scientists had predicted using the standard model of particle physics, which is like the foundation of our understanding of the tiny particles that make up everything in the universe. There were also experiments called beauty experiments that aimed to measure the decay of beauty quarks, a type of tiny particle. The results didn't match what the standard model predicted. This suggested that there might be a new kind of physics that we don't know about yet. Neutrinos, which are very elusive particles that hardly interact with anything, also caused confusion. There was an experiment at CERN called the Opera Oscillation Project that tracked neutrinos, and it seemed like they were going faster than light, which goes against what famous scientist Albert Einstein said. Later, it turned out to be a mistake, but it got people excited about the idea of there being extra dimensions. The LHC's experiments also produced heavier Higgs boson particles than expected. This made scientists think that maybe these extra weight particles were interacting with other particles or fields in dimensions beyond the three dimensions we know. Gravity, which is the force that pulls things down, is also a mystery. It's the weakest of all the forces in the universe, and scientists did not completely understand it. Some theories suggest that gravity is spread across many dimensions, and the LHC might have allowed us to explore those dimensions. Although these observations do not prove that extra dimensions exist, they make scientists question what they thought they knew about how the universe works. They push the boundaries of what we understand and open up the possibility of a whole new way of looking at reality. That's why scientists think that the mysteries uncovered at the enormous LHC might be the key to discovering a new dimension of our universe. Scientists conduct experiments at CERN to study the basic building blocks of matter and how they interact. They use the LHC to recreate extreme conditions from the early universe by smashing particles together. They hope to find clues about extra dimensions. Some theories suggest that our universe has more than three dimensions. These extra dimensions might be curled up freely small so we can't see them with our current experiments. But the powerful collisions at the LHC could briefly reveal these hidden dimensions. If extra dimensions exist, they could bring new particles with them. Scientists call these hypothetical particles Kaluza Klein modes. Detecting them would leave unique marks in CERN's detectors. 
extra dimensions could also affect how known particles behave. When I was a child growing up in the San Francisco area, I used to visit a Japanese tea garden and to visit the carp swimming just beneath the lily pads. They might move in ways that stretch into these hidden dimensions. This could cause us to see less energy or momentum in the collisions. Observations of missing energy or momentum at the LHC have made scientists wonder if extra dimensions might be real. Studying how particles decay can also help us understand extra dimensions. If particles interact with the extra dimensions, their decay patterns might be different from what we expect. Scientists carefully analyze these patterns to look for signs of extra dimensions. So far, we haven't seen direct proof of extra dimensions at CERN, but the experiments have given us intriguing hints that our current understanding can't explain. Scientists believe that exploring extra dimensions is within our reach. They want to learn more about the universe and possibly discover a portal to another dimension at CERN. Scientists at CERN are also studying something called quantum entanglement. It's when particles become connected in a special way, no matter how far apart they are. This connection challenges how we think about cause and effect and how space and time work. Our largest collider in the world, some people describe it as the world's biggest freezer. CERN's quantum entanglement experiments aim to push this strange behavior's limits. They want to understand how the entangled particles are connected and whether this connection could lead to a portal to another dimension. Quantum entanglement is about how one particle state is instantly linked to another, even if they are far apart. By exploring quantum entanglement, scientists hope to uncover more about the nature of space-time and the possibility of accessing another dimension. Experiments contribute to our ongoing quest for knowledge and understanding of the universe. Scientists are interested in the idea of micro-black holes which are very small versions of the huge black holes we know about. They are studying micro black holes at CERN to learn more about extra dimensions, and if they could lead to a passage to another dimension. According to some theories like the string theory, extra dimensions could create micro black holes at the energy levels produced at CERN. These micro black holes would be tiny, about the size of the smallest unit in the universe, and would disappear quickly because of a process called Hawking radiation. Finding these hard to detect micro black holes would give us strong evidence that extra dimensions exist. However, people have raised concerns about their safety. Some worry that these tiny black holes could grow uncontrollably and be dangerous. But scientists believe that hawking radiation would prevent them from growing too much and keep us safe. Scientists hope to learn more about gravity and how space and time work by studying micro black holes. They also want to see how these tiny black holes form and disappear in the presence of extra dimensions. The way micro black holes decay and produce different particles could give us clues about the structure of these extra dimensions. Additionally, the creation of micro black holes could leave special signals in the detectors at CERN. These signals would show how particles interact with the tiny black holes and would be different from what we expect based on our current understanding. By carefully analyzing these signals, scientists can look for signs of extra dimensions and the creation of micro black holes. While we haven't found a direct way to another dimension through micro black holes at CERN, studying them helps us learn more about the universe. These experiments open doors to understanding gravity, space, and time, and they might reveal the existence of hidden dimensions. CERN is a place where scientists keep investigating and learning. It's important to know that we haven't yet found any proof of hidden dimensions or gateways to other dimensions. But scientists at CERN are determined to push the boundaries of knowledge and uncover the mysteries that go beyond what we currently understand. As they conduct experiments and develop theories, 
we move closer to the possibility of finding a door to another dimension. Now let's talk about the connection between the Higgs boson and extra dimensions. The Higgs boson is a tiny particle that gives mass to other particles, and its discovery at CERN was a huge accomplishment. But it also holds clues about the existence of extra dimensions. Some theories suggest that interactions with particles or fields in these hidden dimensions can influence the behavior of the Higgs boson. Scientists carefully study the properties of the observed Higgs boson to look for any differences that could indicate the presence of extra dimensions. One idea is that the mass of the Higgs boson could be affected by interactions with particles in the extra dimensions. If this is true, the measured mass of the Higgs boson could indirectly provide evidence for hidden dimensions. Scientists measure the Higgs boson's mass precisely and compare it to theoretical predictions to test different ideas and gain insights into the potential existence of extra dimensions. At CERN, scientists go beyond simply observing the Higgs boson. They also investigate how it interacts with other particles and fields. By colliding particles at high energies and analyzing the resulting data, they explore extreme conditions where the effects of extra dimensions on the Higgs boson's properties might become noticeable. Scientists at CERN are likewise studying the concept of gravity rainbow and how it could provide evidence of other dimensions. Understanding gravity is crucial for exploring the universe and theories about gravity have played a significant role in our study of other dimensions. Gravity's rainbow is a theoretical framework that tries to combine quantum mechanics and Albert Einstein's theory of gravity, known as general relativity, in the context of extra dimensions. Gravity's rainbow offers a way to detect the influence of these dimensions on how gravity behaves. According to some models, extra dimensions can cause gravity to behave differently than general relativity predicts. When particles interact with these hidden dimensions, they can change the energy levels associated with their gravitational interactions, creating a rainbow effect of energy-dependent gravitation. Scientists hope to find evidence of other dimensions by studying this rainbow effect and better understanding how gravity works when these dimensions are involved. The search for hidden dimensions and gateways to other dimensions continues to fascinate scientists at CERN. While we haven't made any groundbreaking discoveries yet, the journey of scientific exploration brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries that exist beyond our current understanding of the universe, Detecting the effects of energy-dependent gravity would provide strong evidence for the presence of other dimensions. It means that gravity behaves differently based on the amount of energy involved. For example, when particles get very close to extra dimensions, gravity might act in a way that doesn't follow the usual pattern we're used to. Scientists can likewise study how gravity works when particles are at small distances to look for any changes that could indicate the existence of extra dimensions. They can also study black holes, which are objects with extremely strong gravity, to understand if extra dimensions affect them. By comparing their observations to what they expect from theories, scientists can test different ideas and explore the possible existence of other dimensions. But a concept that's even more intriguing is the idea of supersymmetry. It's simply a theory that says there is a partner particle with different properties for every known particle. These partner particles could help explain some mysteries in particle physics. Supersymmetry is also connected to the idea of extra dimensions. It suggests that extra dimensions could help explain why different energy scales, like the Weak and Planck scales, stay stable. It's like an extra dimension balances things out. Scientists are trying to find evidence for supersymmetry and see if it is linked to extra dimensions. 
However, scientists have not found any clear evidence for supersymmetry or extra dimensions. It's challenging to prove these ideas experimentally, and it raises questions about the models that rely heavily on them. But researchers are still actively studying supersymmetry because it provides a good framework for understanding particle physics. Like the idea of supersymmetry, scientists at CERN are also actively studying energy and momentum conservation violations. Principles are important in understanding how the universe works, but at CERN, some observations and theories suggest that energy and momentum might not always stay the same, especially when interacting with hidden dimensions. Studying these possible violations is exciting, because it challenges what we know about the laws of physics. It opens up new possibilities and helps us learn more about the potential existence of other dimensions. Scientists at CERN are actively exploring these ideas to deepen our understanding of the universe. Energy and momentum conservation may appear to have been violated, especially as particles escape into hidden dimensions. Some theories have therefore suggested that particles only briefly travel into these hidden dimensions during collisions, taking energy and momentum away from our observable three-dimensional space. This creates a shortage of energy and momentum, making it seem like conservation laws are being broken. Scientists at CERN have noticed this lack of energy and momentum in collision events that known particles can't explain. It suggests that there might be interactions with particles living in these extra dimensions. By studying these signs of missing energy and momentum, scientists can understand how hidden dimensions affect conservation laws. It's important to remember that while these observations are interesting, they don't prove the existence of extra dimensions. There could be other explanations, like undetected particles, or errors in measurements that need to be considered, but the fact that these anomalies keep showing up in experiments and match up with theoretical ideas encourages further investigation into the idea of extra dimensions. Now let's talk about string theory. When they vibrate, they don't produce musical notes, they produce the particles themselves. It's a theory that tries to bring together all the fundamental forces of nature. According to this theory, elementary particles aren't tiny points, but instead they are very small, vibrating strings. These strings can vibrate differently, thereby creating particles with different properties. String theory also suggests the existence of extra dimensions, which are curled up and very tiny. We can also unlock the secrets of the Big Bang. You see, Einstein's equations break down at the instant of the Big Bang and the center of a black hole. We can't see them with current experiments, but at CERN's LHC, the energies reached during collisions might allow us to see the effects of these extra dimensions. These dimensions could change how known particles behave, introduce new particles associated with the extra dimensions, or affect the strength of fundamental forces. By studying the collision data at CERN, scientists can look for signs that match what string theory predicts. One prediction is the existence of extra particles called string excitations, or string states. These particles connected to the vibrations of the fundamental strings might have different properties than what the standard model predicts. Exploring these predictions helps us understand the implications of string theory and how it connects to experiments at CERN. There's likewise the concept of many worlds interpretation, MWI, that the experts at CERN have been busy unraveling. It's basically a quantum mechanics theory that parallel universes might branch out from every quantum measurement. Scientists at CERN are now attempting to establish how the MWI affects our understanding of the dimensional hypothesis and its connection to CERN experiments. According to the MWI theory, the universe splits into different branches when we measure something in the quantum world. Each branch represents a different outcome of the measurement. This means many parallel universes could have slightly different particles and forces. 
these parallel universes might also have other dimensions we can't see, the MWI has big implications for the dimensional hypothesis. If other dimensions exist, they could show up as separate branches in the multiverse of the MWI. Each branch would have a different arrangement of extra dimensions, which could explain why we see variations in the basic rules and constants of physics in our own universe. Also, the MWI helps us understand the wave-particle idea and how particles behave with extra dimensions. In the MWI, particles don't follow a single path, but exist in different states at the same time. These states can extend into extra dimensions, allowing particles to exist in multiple dimensions or even in parallel universes. Even though the MWI is still being studied, it offers a new way to think about reality and its connection to extra dimensions. Scientists at CERN are excited to explore this potential link through experiments and observations. They hope to learn more about hidden dimensions and how they appear as branches in the multiverse. So it's important that we constantly remember that the MWI is still a subject of ongoing research and it's not easy to prove. But its influence on our understanding of the dimensional hypothesis is equally important. It shows us the value of considering different interpretations and how they can guide our experimental investigations. The fancy tools and gadgets used to study particles at CERN are now very interestingly being increasingly used for other amazing purposes. Take PET scans, for example. They're a common tool used to diagnose cancers, and they came about because of the same cool instruments used for particle research. Isn't that incredible? This builds up a chain of one discovery leading to another and making a big difference in people's lives. And more interestingly, CERN doesn't keep all its knowledge to itself. They share it with everyone. It's like sharing a bright light. They believe in doing open-ended scientific research, which means they keep exploring without knowing exactly where it will lead. They know that if we only focused on making better candles, we would have never switched to electrical lighting. CERN is all about trying new things and pushing the limits. And quite surprisingly, not many people know that the World Wide Web, on which we surf the internet today, was created at CERN. This was back in 1989, when a smart scientist named Tim Berners-Lee invented it as a way for scientists worldwide to share their data. Can you imagine a world without the internet? Well, thanks to CERN, we don't have to. So next time you're surfing the web or hear about a PET scan saving lives, remember that it all started at CERN. This place is like a hotbed of new ideas and discoveries. It's where dreams become reality and where the world gets changed. Who knows what other amazing things are waiting for us in the future? Thanks for watching another episode of Space Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.